Hi, my name is Reese, and on this channel, I want to cover everything and anything related to solar power, and that includes batteries and associated hardware. What I have here is the brand new EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra and the Smart Home Panel 2. I'll be producing a full review on these guys on my main channel next month, but in this video, I want to show you the Delta Pro Ultra and go over some of the main features that I found so far. So first, let's do an overview of some of the hardware. The way that this system works is that the inverter charger or the brains is separate from the actual battery modules. So this is one of the battery modules. Each battery module is about six kilowatt hours of storage capacity. They are lithium iron phosphate batteries but they connect in over the over here on the side and each one of these main Delta Pro Ultra units can handle up to five of these battery modules so for each one of these you could have potentially up to 30 kilowatt hours of storage capacity so it is nice that the system is stackable but even just with one battery this little setup here is pretty hefty what you're seeing is, is that it's on this cart with the bigger wheels and has a telescoping handle to move around that is an additional thing that you could get the Delta Pro Ultra comes with this cart though that has uh, spinning casters on it. It doesn't have the telescoping handle, but this does make it easy to move it around. So on the front, you have a really nice screen that shows the input and output wattages, state of charge, and some other information. You have a power button, AC and DC button. In terms of DC ports on this, there are two USB-C 100 watt power delivery ports, two USB-A ports. And then over here is a 12 volt, 30 amp Anderson output. In terms of AC outputs that are under these doors, you can see there's four regular outlets. There's a 30 amp RV port. And I think this is the most special one. It's a L14-30. This is a 240 volt output. So I'd say one of the biggest highlights of the Delta Pro Ultra is this output port down here. This is one of the very few power stations that can output 240 volts directly from one battery out of the unit. And this is a very common output port, an L14-30. But the Delta Pro Ultra can do something else that I have not seen with a 240 volt output on a common port at 30 amps in that it can output 240 volts uh, up to 30 amps, but also charge at 120 at the same time. And I wanna show you that. So this is kind of a first as far as I am aware. So let me turn on the AC. Okay, you can see right there, I'm getting my 240 volt output. So let me plug in the wall connection. So hopefully you can see I'm inputting about 1800 watts of AC power over here. And with this port turned on, I'm able to output 240 volts, again, both at the same time. And you can also get a 120 and 240 volt output while you're charging this with a 240 volt input. Another big highlight I think of the Delta Pro Ultra is the huge solar input. The Delta Pro Ultra can handle up to 5.6 kilowatts of solar input, 4,000 watts come from the high voltage input, and then you can get 1,600 watts out of the low voltage input. So to give you a sense of how much solar this is, I have a 15.6 kilowatt array on my roof, but for a lot of people, five kilowatts is a pretty big system, and just this one unit can handle all that solar. So while I don't have an easy way to test the 5.6 kilowatts of solar input, I do have four solar panels here that I've wired in series that together are over that 150 volt limit of the low voltage input, so I do have them plugged into the high voltage input. Each of these is a 385 watt bifacial solar panel, and when you have them in series like I do, you have to add up the voltage. They're about 40, 45 volts each, and when you add all that up, it's over that low voltage input of 150 volts. So right now, if we look at the app, it's making about five, five to 600 watts of solar input. Not a ton for these four solar panels, but there is a lot of clouds in the sky. But the main thing that I wanted to show you is that the high voltage input does work on the Delta Pro Ultra to get over 150 volts of solar input. So the high voltage input is around the side and can handle up to 450 volts. Under this door is how you access the low voltage input. The unit does come with a cable that plugs in here with MC4 connectors on the other end. Now note that the voltage range of the low solar input is 30 to 150 volts. So for example, a 100 watt solar panel is typically about 20 volts. So you would need a little bit more solar to get above 30 volts. So we have the high voltage solar coming in over here. Behind this door, we could add the low voltage solar, but I wanna test, can you input solar and wall AC at the same time? So let's see how that goes. So on the app here, we can see that we can do the high voltage solar input as well as the AC to charge the batteries at the same time. So I'm getting 340 watts or so on solar, about 1.8 kilowatts of power on AC for a total of 2.12 
kilowatts here. Some other interesting features of the Delta Pro Ultra are the connections and I would say even these covers. Check these out. So when you lift them up, they stay on their own. They're not like those uh, silicone ones that, that you have to pull out and you have to kind of hold it up while you're plugging the thing in. Uh, these things flip up, they stay open. There's a gasket around the sides to help with the waterproofing when they're down. And they also are magnetic. So you can pull these doors off and check this out. When you get it close, you can see the magnet action happening. And I think that's great. I reviewed a lot of power stations and I've never seen one with magnetic doors like this. So while we're here in the front, I also want to point out these labels, online UPS or backup UPS. What that means is you have an AC source feeding the Delta Pro Ultra and then that gets cut. How fast will it switch over to battery power if you have something plugged in here? So the backup UPS is rated for a 20 millisecond switch over time. The online UPS is rated at a zero millisecond switch over time. And so this one is also on that same circuit. So this RV port is a zero millisecond switch over. And then this one right here, this 240 volt port is the 20 millisecond switch over. Here's a look at the front with all the doors open. I showed you everything except for over here. Over here is where you can install a 4G communication module. If we come around to the side, there's this port under here that can be used as an input or an output. You can use the included cable with the smart home panel too and plug that in right here. That's how it would connect. Or you can connect it into this 50 amp hub where the cable would go in there and plug in here. And if you only had one Delta Pro Ultra unit, you would only get 30 amps maximum out of this, this 50 amp style plug. But if you had two of them, the other one would plug in here, then you could get that uh, full 50 amps out of this plug. If you want to charge from this port, there's some accessories you can get. There's a uh, 1430 generator plug that you can get to charge with a generator. You can also get this one right here that will allow you to charge it at an EV charging station. And of course, if you have the smart home panel too, and that's connected to the cable, it can be used as an output or an input to charge the batteries. Over here is the connection from the battery to the main unit. Notice they did have a 90 degree cable, which is great. Not one of those big ones that stick out along the side. And it even has a flat head so you can lock it into place. If you were going to connect another battery, you'd have it stacked up and you just open this door, push that in and then connect that battery on there. So another highlight that I found is how quiet this is, especially when the AC inverter is putting out a lot of power. This is what the backside looks like, by the way. Down here, I have two extension cords. Each of these has an 1800 watt load on them. So you add that up, that's 3600 watts. That is the maximum continuous output on the Delta Pro. For this one, the Delta Pro Ultra, it can do 7,200 watts of continuous power. So that's about half of its continuous power rating on the AC inverter. But I want to use that as a test to see uh, how loud this gets compared to kind of what it is right now. And I have my watch up here to be our decibel meter for this test. Okay, so we have a baseline of about 35 decibels with my watch right above this grill area here. So let's go ahead and turn on the AC inverter. and we'll see how loud it gets. So you can see we're at about 34, 3,500 watts of output across these two extension cords. And the reason why I have the extension cords is because I'm using a space heater and the Delta Pro to charge it, and I needed to put them in a separate room. So here is where the, uh, the heat would be expelled on the back of this unit. And since it's been on, like I'd hear a faint electrical buzz, that's about it. And in terms of the sound, uh, it just keeps shutting off even because it's so low, below 30 decibels. And I kind of have to keep talking to keep the meter going. So it's, it's ultra quiet. And that's pretty amazing that it can put out that much power and still be so quiet. So another highlight is that it's made to work seamlessly with the Smart Home Panel 2, which I have over here. And like I mentioned at the beginning, I'm going to be doing a review video with some more tests on the Delta Pro Ultra, as well as how it works with the Smart Home Panel 2 when it's hooked up to my house. So that's gonna be on my main channel. Let me know if you have any questions about these and hopefully I can cover that in that video. So if you're interested in the Delta Pro Ultra, you can get a discount coupon now for when it gets released. That coupon is fully refundable. Check the video description for the links and the details on that. And also down in the description, I'll also keep it updated with any latest deals that I know about the system.